All right, guys, here we go with today's multiplayer round. We got Brock, Lakeside, Northern Breeze, Harrowing Woods, No Water Skip. Sometimes when I see Brock, we'll just, if it's just a one versus one, we'll quit and uh, rematch and try to get a third player. Oh, we got Papa AC. Papa C? Papa C? All right, let's see what we want to do here. I'm going to go with uh, roll sapphire on a forehand. Try to get this to go. Dang it, did not turn it enough. Now this might be wet. Come on, okay. You never know if it's going to hold up there or not. Definitely risky, but I usually can get a little closer than that. Everyone gets the birdie. Nobody gets the ace. Oh man. All par threes and one par five. Let's see who can get the aces. I'm going to go with the warship here. Slide to the left. With this win, I'm going to aim a little lower. Should still give me a chance at the ace. Didn't turn it enough. Darn it. Oh! Papa C gets the ace. Takes the lead. Very nice. See if we can get that one back. Another par three coming up. We've got a nice win for it. This is the instinct. Oh man, now Brock gets the ace and I'm gonna miss left. Jeez. Now I'm down by one to both of them. Now I gotta find a way to get that stroke back from both of them. Bunch of par threes. What do we have? Northern Breeze and something else. All right, this one's a perfect for the PD. Westy kind of showed me this line. I don't know if I do it the same as him, but it's pretty close. And it works a lot better than my old line where I'd have to worry about those poles there that I just went over. Hopefully it doesn't go. Sometimes you get a crazy slide on that snow there and it goes too far, but luckily that didn't happen. We get our birdie. Brock gets his birdie. Looks like Papa was OB, so me and him are tied. Foster with the lead. A couple more Northern Breeze par threes coming up. I'm always tempted to run this one, but not going to here. Just going to throw the roll sapphire. Change my aim point a little bit because of this wind. And hoping it just maybe even gets a friendly kick off that rock. Nice. Rock with his birdie. 48 feet. I'm going to throw that. Don't want to put too much on it because of that. Oh my gosh. I hate spit outs. Spin off if you're listening. Do something about it. <laughs> It's just not realistic. That's the frustrating thing that gets everybody. It's the same for everybody. I get that. It's not like it's not fair across the board. It just happens way more often than it should compared to real life. I definitely understand missing you know, right or left side. It's going to spit out. That is realistic for sure. But hitting dead center chains like that, very rare is it going to spit out on you in real life. All right, I'm going to try to get that back and go vandal here. Maybe get lucky and get the bounce for the ace. Mm. Nope. Papa going to get the uh, birdie because I think I'm tied with him right now. Looks like he's short. Oh my gosh, I thought mine was going to spit out again. Oh no, it looks like I, I still had the lead on him. I didn't realize he had a bogey. All right, well, I'm down two on Brock now. So it's going to be tough to come back from this. Light glide rive into the gap. Hopefully it gets a bounce to the right. Brock with a nice drive. Try to give this a little bit of a run, but just to flatten it out a little bit since I need some strokes. Well, that's near impossible one to hit. Every once in a while it'll happen. Looks like I had a good line, just not quite the distance. 
stuck behind this tree a little bit, and that's why I usually throw a little higher than that, just so I don't have to worry about going long. Still able to get it. Two holes to play, down by two. Can we make this happen with two aces? I would not bet on it. But it's possible. Alright, let's see here. I'm going to go skip Sapphire. Throw it nice and high and a bunch of turn. It's going to be short, even if it's in line, huh? Maybe off the tree? Nope. Oh, wow. Ugly bounce off the tree there. Yikes, yeah, like 62 feet. Try something fun since I can't win this one. I'm just going to try to skip this skip this in. Usually I just throw it right at it and add like 30 feet to it, but we'll see if we can make this happen. 62 feet. Oh, it didn't skip. It was kind of just a dead skip slide into the pole. That was not very uh, exciting. I was hoping I could give you some sort of excitement as I lose. Alright, see if we can finish it off with an ace. Skip Sapphire. I feel like I got this line pretty good. Maybe. Looks good. Give me a skip. Oh yeah. Finish with the ace. Not the win. Alright, Brock. Nice win. Looks like he went for it. But all he's got to do is... He could probably bogey still and win. He's unable to get the birdie. But he gets the par. Still gets the win. And... There we go. Let's take a look at his bag. I haven't seen it in a while. He plays left-handed. He's got the Hope and Harp combo. The Fuse and Claymore. Explore and Musket. Let's see what sapphires he has. The Skip Sapphire. The Glide Sapphire. He's got the Water Skip Sapphire. Nice. Water Skip Rive. That's a nice looking disc. The Light Glide Strive, the Skip Zeus, and then the Skip Paradigm. Yes, it was, Brock. Nice win. All right, y'all. There is today's round. Hope you enjoyed. And as always, thanks for watching me play some DGV.